Alley. Today I'm going to read you a story, The Bigfoot Mystery. Are you ready? Yeah. Mom was talking to bus trainers. Are are these your toes at the end? She asked. Your feet have grown again. You need you need a new pair of trainers, said Mom. Go and tell the friend Trick that we are going to the shops. As soon as soon as Kipper peeked into Biff's room, the magic key started to glow. It was time for an adventure. Ooh, adventure. <laughs> <laughs> All magic, the magic took took them to a forest with lots of old trees, tall trees. Biff saw a footprint in the mud. Look at this! She said, "It's enormous." <laughs> enormous than a bear. Mm-hmm. Ooh, hi, kitty. Uh, a gorilla. She put her own food next to the footprint to to compare what made it as Kipper. A bear? Oh, Biff's thought this one is tinier. But I think bear won't have this. It's like our our people's giant feet. <laughs> I know, it's a giant people. Bears have paws with the sharp claws, said Biff. This footprint has to- toe marks. Some people believe a mystery animal called Bigfoot lives in the mud. Wood, said Chip. Hmm, but is, is there really a Bigfoot? Uh, some believe that Bigfoot. Is true. Real, yeah, but others don't believe the Bigfoot. I think Bigfoot is a gorilla but has a name. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps Bigfoot made the footprint, said Chip. Chip added. Here is another mystery, said Kipper. Why is this rope here? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Biff and Chip went to check. Suddenly, a big wooden cage dropped it down over the breaches. Oh no, shouted Chip. It's a trap. Oh no. The children tried to lift up the cage, but it was much too heavy. Help, shouted Kipper. Is there anybody there? Hmm. Look! Oh look! I said it's a gorilla. Yes, said Biff. Look over there. A huge hairy creature was watching them. It looked in, in, interested. That's Bigfoot, said Chip in amazement. Bigfoot came closer. I think he wants to help us, said Biff. Oof. He just put the one to fly. Uh, I think he needs a girl. It has a name called the big foot. Yeah, I think so. The wooden cage was not heavy for Big Foot. He lifted off the children easily. We are free, said Chip. Bill looked up looked up at Big Foot. Thanks for helping us, she said. Big Foot seemed to smile at the children. Suddenly they heard a gruff voice. The trap is best way, said a man. Bigfoot looked round. Now he seemed frightened. Oh, what does that mean? I don't want to be Bigfoot. He ran into the woods and hide. A moment later, three men appeared. What are you children doing here? One of them asked. We are lost, said Chip quickly. My name is Mr. Buncombe, said the man. We said set that trap to catch a mystery animal called Bigfoot. Bigfoot stayed hidden away. What will we do if we catch him? Biff asked Bunkum. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Bunkum smiled. I'm going to take him all around the world in my traveling circus. People will pay lots of money to see him. He's the only Bigfoot in the world. Oh.
Welcome dear to children of Hearts Day. Have you seen Big Fit Mia here? She asked. The children did not think Bunny Pump's plan sounded very not very sounded very nice for Big Foot this trip and Pippa looked at each other. They shook their heads. Chip quickly rubbed his foot over the footprint so the man would not see it. Maybe I'll go and look for the lotus nest's nest, said Bunkum sarcastically. The magic key began to go. What's that? A magic key, shouted Bunkum. Bunkum people will pay lots to see that. The children started disappearing. Come back, Bunkum shouted angrily. He did not like the know that the big bigfoot was behind him waving goodbye to the children oh oh what the smile to the at home mom was waiting to take pepper shopping for new trainers go go on go on then bigfoot joked to her little brother then